a brand new attraction is coming to Epcot 94. It's called Innoventions, and it focuses on all the new technology that's just about to improve our lives, expand our horizons, and fuel our imagination. It's about the gadgets, the gizmos, and the mainstream technologies that are going to be important to all of us. This will be extremely popular. I think it'll be very entertaining. And I think it will really satisfy an expectation people have when they come to Epcot that they are going to see something that they haven't seen before. People will experience all of these products before they're ever available to the mass market. Innoventions will let you touch and interact with what's just around the corner. It'll be your first chance to see how you'll live, how you'll work, how you'll play in the years to come. For nearly 150 years, people have flocked to world's fairs and expositions to get their first glimpse of new technology. Well, world's fairs, if you go back in time and look at them, were actually quite famous for introducing new pieces of technology. And, and it was interesting, even in, you know, in the early part of the century, where you know, a new concept in power generation or light bulbs or refrigerators or you know, the telephone, I think, was introduced at the Philadelphia Centennial at, uh, in the 1800s. So the tradition of world's fairs as places where new ideas are presented, um, technology as well as entertainment, is a very rich one. At the Philadelphia World's Fair in 1876, the typewriter was introduced, which would transform the way office work was performed well into the next century. In 1893, the dawning of the age of electricity was celebrated with a brand new invention, the Ferris wheel. Seven years later, moving sidewalks were built at the 1900 Paris World's Fair to transport visitors around the exhibition. Just a few years later, the automobile, which would change the daily fabric of our lives more significantly than any other invention, was showcased at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. Another transportation device, the airplane, was demonstrated at the same time. But the most popular new treat was probably the ice cream cone, which was first created right there at the fair. In 1915, at the San Francisco World's Fair, the first transcontinental phone line was demonstrated. Astonished visitors listened to headlines from New York papers and the pounding of the Atlantic Ocean against the eastern seashore. At the Chicago World's Fair in 1933, the Skyride thrilled fairgoers, providing a stunning aerial view of the entire exhibition. Six years later, the 1939 World's Fair in New York ushered in the age of television, when it became one of the first events ever televised. The broadcast went out to 3,000 homes in the area. And in 1964, the Walt Disney Company came to the New York World's Fair and designed several innovative exhibitions, including the Carousel of Progress. <laughs> World's fairs have captured people's imaginations by offering a look into the future, by showing how technology would help people work more effectively and efficiently, and live life more fully. And now, Epcot 94 revives the grand tradition of World's fairs by providing a permanent showcase for new technology. Inventions is a uh, kind of a word that combines uh, invention and innovation. Uh, it's actually the new core of uh, Epcot Center at Walt Disney World in Florida, and it really deals with the near future. What's going to happen to all of us in our lives tomorrow, next month, next year, but not 20 years out. Interventions is uh, really a reflection of something Walt Disney had in mind way back when he first started talking about Epcot. Epcot will take its cue from the new ideas and new technologies that are now emerging from the creative centers of American industry. It will be a community of tomorrow that will never be completed, but will always be introducing and testing and demonstrating new materials and new systems. I mean, the whole idea as Walt Disney articulated it was that the best and newest ideas from corporate research labs and design studios would be brought to this place and the public would get a chance to see where the future is going. Almost every company that's involved with Inventions is the leading company in its field. So when you have General Motors, you have a leading car company. When you have AT&T, you have a leading phone company. When you have Sega, you have the leading game company. You know, we have tried to get only those companies that excel in their fields. 
Innoventions will showcase a range of products from cutting-edge companies. You'll be able to see their latest offerings displayed in unique and exciting exhibit spaces. Innoventions is definitely part of the tradition of uh, AT&T exhibiting at World's major exhibits of that sort. It's especially important to us at times when things are changing rapidly. When the, uh, the telephone made the transition from uh, operator assisted all the time for every call, kinds of calling, uh, where the operator knew everything about your life and your community, that was a big transition for people to take on that responsibility, to be able to make the call themselves. That was really the, the, the first major transition uh, of introducing technology to the consumer. Take up your receiver and always listen for the dial tone. Remember how it sounds, a steady hum. Now, let's dial the number we looked up and made a note of. W. O. I went to the 1964 World's Fair in New York there was a demonstration between uh, touch tone dialing and rotary dialing. Rotary dialing was what everybody had at the time. It was the way people made telephone calls. Hi, this is the Bell Systems new touch tone dialing. With this indicator, you see how many seconds you save the new way. Let's try it. Okay, I'll race you. Ready? Go. I think the most exciting thing about phones is that they're going to disappear in the next few years. Uh, phones right now are a physical object on your desk, but they're soon going to be a feature that'll show up in your TV set, it'll show up in your wristwatch, it'll show up on your computer. So actually you're seeing the end of phones as we know it. The most important thing that we would see the public taking away from the Innoventions exhibit is the dramatic changes that are happening with technology. This exhibit is one that will change from time to time as we're ready to bring out new products. Everyone will have a personal communicator with them. The idea of being out of communications with your fellow man any part of the day will be scary. It's almost that time, and Princess is still playing outside with her friends on their helicycles. But her wristwatch radio telephone makes it easy to call even young teenagers home for dinner. The Apple attraction at Interventions will feature Apple's state-of-the-art computing technologies across a wide range of what Apple Computer does. The technologies and the products and the concepts that are being displayed or on display at Interventions will demonstrate some very clear, concise steps to take you from the thought process to making the thought become more of a reality to using the tools to actually walk through the logical process of making something come true from something you just thought up. Ideas themselves are often lost as you work through your average day. And technology can play a role not only in helping spark new ideas, but helping you capture them. For example, with the Newton, you can jot it as it occurs to you. And you can explore your ideas in a whole new way. And ultimately, the computers and the technologies that Apple is creating will allow you to visualize your idea into expression. Visitors at the Innoventions Sega display are really going to see the future from Sega. The Sega exhibit and Interventions will be overwhelming. I think that people will really be amazed at how much there is to see from Sega. The Sega exhibit is designed for people who've never played a video game or people who play games um, every day, all day long. Um, you'll be able to walk in and just start playing anywhere in the booth and have a good time. The Sega exhibit will be very theatrical. We're spending a lot of money on lighting and special effects to really create the game experience. You walk into the exhibit right into the future area where we'll be showing the very latest games and the very latest technologies. Across the aisle is the arcade area where we're showing the incredible eight-player virtual. In that machine, you're sitting in the cockpit of a Formula One car. 
looking at a huge monitor, wired up fiber optic with seven of your friends, all racing toward the same checkered flag. It's just an amazing experience. And then there's also an action adventure area, as well as a kids area, where everything is at a smaller scale, really for four and five year olds, to try and get the Sega experience. Innoventions is a, a wonderful opportunity to step into the future. And it's a great opportunity for Sega to show how we intend to shape the future of interactive uh, entertainment. Sega! Participating in this exhibit is part of a long tradition of GE participating in World's Fairs. We were at the World's Fair in 1939, and we were again at the World's Fair in 1964. And at that time, Disney helped us by putting on the Carousel of Progress, which was one of the most memorable exhibits then. And we hope that this exhibit will be very memorable for people visiting today. Each one of our products and services is designed to make people's lives better, more fun, more pleasant. Featured in the GE exhibit at Interventions will be magnetic imaging technology. By using a giant magnet, doctors can generate a three-dimensional map of the inside of a patient's body. The end result provides an image that looks as if you're traveling right through a person's blood vessels. We no longer hear the phrase exploratory surgery. No longer do we go and look inside a person to try to figure out what the disease is. Now we know, and this has saved an incredible amount of time and pain. GE will also be introducing a brand new light bulb that uses only one-third the energy to produce the same amount of light as a normal incandescent bulb, and it'll last 10 times as long. The most exciting product in the exhibit right now is the G90 jet engine. This is the largest jet engine ever manufactured, and the reason that's important is it is capable of taking more people further using less energy and making less noise than any machine ever devised before. I think the appeal for most people coming to this exhibit is going to be that they're going to have the opportunity to see how complicated technology works and what goes on behind the scenes to make that technology useful in their lives. The 1939 World Series, as I recall, at least the GM Pavilion, uh, was called Highways and Horizons, and it was done at a time when this country uh, largely had secondary roads, many of the mud roads, and the, uh, the message there was to, was to initiate a national highway system. The same thing was true of the 1964-65 World's Fair, where, where again we took the approach of, of trying to cast a hopeful and bright future and did that in, the, in a ride that, uh, that I understand was extremely successful, one of the must-see attractions. 25 years ago, I guess, um, you know, we weren't really um, faced with a lot of the energy conservation modes that we are today. I think we, uh, we used gasoline. Gasoline was very cheap. We really didn't have much of a conscience for fuel economy. And so interventions, I think, with so many people coming through there, it's going to be a great opportunity to educate people about what an electric vehicle might mean to them. The impact is General Motors electric vehicle. We call it a zero emission vehicle. And it means that the car does not pollute any environments. It's a clean car. The whole idea of never having to go to a gas station significantly reduce your maintenance and service. There's no oil to change. There's no exhaust system to wear out. There's no fuel to add to the car. Those kinds of things say you now are going to make your car fueling requirements, which is now charging the car, something you do right in your own home. But this was a kitchen like none I've seen. Put a card in the slot, and onto the screen pops a picture of just how your dish will look, plus all the ingredients you need to cook. Everyone has always been interested in how the future home will look. Home is, after all, where we live. In fact, World's Fairs have often featured futuristic houses. Innoventions will carry on the tradition with a walk-through exhibit of a high-tech, state-of-the-art series of rooms, where many different companies will display the latest in home innovations. 
The exhibit will start with a live show featuring an architect, a magician, and several astounding special effects that will introduce you to the latest technology that'll soon be available for your own home. The home of the future is not going to be cold and intimidating. It's still going to be a warm, inviting, comfortable environment, much like it is today. It's just that you're going to have all this wonderful stuff at your fingertips that you can do. I am obsessed with gadgets. I love gadgets, whether it's the new pager or the new phone or the new stereo. I think the public is obsessed with it. It's changing very quickly, and I think it's got to be part of what we do at Epcot Center. Well, I think Americans are gadgeteers, you know, just traditionally. I, if you look at our history, we're, we're tremendous inventors, tremendous tinkerers in this country. Um, I think, you know, we just seem to be very en entranced with machinery and, and uh, high technology. There will be hundreds of gadgets to touch and feel at Interventions. In fact, a special area is being set aside just for consumer electronics. It's called Eclectronics. What Eclectronics does for you is give you the opportunity to see new products, products some of which are available today, others which will be available in the near future, and it lets you in a hands-on way play with them, use them, experience them, and find out your preferences, what is the best fit for you and your interests. An interesting sideshow at Eclectronics is an exhibit which takes an audio animatronics character, a character put together in a way most people have never seen it, without the skin, so that you can see all of the inner workings and mechanics that make it happen, the thousands of moving parts that are generally not seen by the public, in an exciting and dynamic environment that I think most people will find memorable. The Videonics Company will be exhibiting a new line of products that appeal to the home gadgeteer. The products that Videonics sells are technologies for uh, home video buffs. It allows them to edit their videotape at home, create all kinds of interesting transitions between scenes. They can put titles on their home videos, add sound effects, and really have a lot of fun with them. Another company that will present interesting new products is Hamaker Schlemmer. Part of their exhibit will be a testing lab where you can go and try out new high-tech toys. Several areas at Innoventions will also celebrate the process of inventing. A unique multimedia attraction will feature the TV personality Bill Nye the Science Guy, who will explain what Innoventing is all about. Bill points out that uh, scientists and inventors don't wait for serendipity they look at what's been done before, they examine the world, uh, uh, they put different things together and then they <clears throat> stretch their imagination and then Bill's head actually comes through the screen. Someone said, well, you know, we've got this great effect sitting over in the warehouse, which is this three-dimensional head, so let's see if we can work it into the, the story somehow. Discover Magazine, long before uh, they became affiliated with Innoventions, has had a uh, annual technology awards and it's almost like they read the mind of interventions with these awards because what these awards uh, do is they recognize um, technologies and product designs in areas like computer science automotive environmental that are the most uh, advanced most significant developments of a given year so we're gonna honor those winners this year uh, we're gonna have the actual product that, that they want it for and hopefully get into the head a little bit uh, with the inventor. To top off interventions, there will be a behind the scenes look at a fantastic attraction in the making. Here at the Walt Disney Imagineering Test Labs, you'll get a rare peek into the future of entertainment. We're gonna, for the first time, let the public come in and kind of peek behind the curtain and see our process and see how this works and uh, see what we do here and how uh, an attraction is actually built. Uh, the one we're featuring is the virtual reality attraction that we're working on. Virtual reality is very new. And when I say very new, it's something that people haven't got their hands around yet. Uh, talking about what's exciting about the future of virtual reality is sort of like telling the Wright brothers why the Advantage Mileage Program would have been a good investment. It's so new, it's so exciting, it is a communications tool. It's going to change our lives just as radio, the telephone, television, and any other communications tool is. Virtual reality is the ultimate way of communicating ideas and experiences to people. When you go into a movie theater, there is a complete environment 
right in front of you. The, the screen is almost like a window into an environment that the filmmaker has built for you. With virtual reality, imagine that instead of a screen, you're actually placed in that environment. The way that works, any place that you are, if you look straight ahead, the computer senses that you're looking straight ahead and puts that picture there. If you look up, the computer uh, reads a sensor mounted on your display that tells it that you're looking up, so it draws the sky. If you look down, it draws the floor. If you look to your left or to your right, it draws always exactly the picture you want to be and then adjusts the sound so that the sounds are where they're supposed to be as well. The result of all that is you have this sense of being there, this sense of, of first person that is quite extraordinary. I can't give away too much here, but let's just say if you've ever wanted to fly on a magic carpet, you won't be disappointed with our virtual reality exhibit. What's exciting about Interventions is that it isn't one thing. It's a constantly changing trade show. It's what people never get to see. I think it will give Epcot a real sense of the present and the future. And each time you come, again, it's going to be different. It's going to be, it will always be fresh and always be brought up to date. In the continuation of the spirit of World's Fairs, Innoventions will show us a visionary look at tomorrow through the leading edge technologies that will take us there. As the new millennium dawns, we'll see advances that can help us clean up the environment, find new ways to communicate, and provide entertainment that takes us beyond our wildest imagination.